It's time now for the Mike Rickenbaugh Ford Lincoln Give Mike a Try.com Game of the Week. And welcome back one and all the give Mike a try .com game of the week featured two old rivals clashing again tonight. Latta and Andrews this time down in Andrews, a region matchup very important for both teams more so for Andrews who lost to Carver's Bay last Friday, so they already had a loss on their resume. Latta took care of business last week for their first region win. But this one tonight really could play a determining factor on how this region goes down. Let's pick it up here. First quarter, Andrews getting things going early on. RJ Nolan racing down the field, takes it inside the ladder red zone before he's finally brought down. Short time later, hey, Nolan again. How about 10 yards? This time he is in the house. 7 0 Andrews on top. Latta battling back. Quarterback. Dylan Carter fires a strike. Deontay Stanley, and then Stanley does the rest. Number seven, how about 97 clicks to the house? Not going to catch that young man. He has wheels for days. We are knotted at seven all. Move, second quarter, Andrews back to the ground game. Jalen Smith said, Mr. Dunn, watch me tonight. I'm going to put on a show. He does. 25 yards, Andrews up. 14-7 here in the third. Latta back to their passing game. Carter swing pass. Kendall Moultrie wheels. He is gone. Have a nice flight and enjoy your stay. 61-yard connection. Extra point no good. Latta trails by one. Later, Carter again. This time, Darius McCray. That one's going to cover 57. A lot of yardage given up tonight, and they resulted in touchdowns. 21-14, Latta has the lead first time tonight. Andrews, though, they go back to the passing game. Jazel Murphy, check out Bryce Johns. How about 68 yards on this connection? Yellow Jackets, two-point conversion. They lead 21-22-21. Andrews for good measure. Murphy, 28 yards to Jeremiah Johnson Shaw. Andrews up 28-21. A few plays later, Nolan again, this time up the gut for 60. That right there would put them up 14 in the fourth. Latta, however, not going down without a fight. They get the onside kick. Morris comes up, though, with a big sack in the final minute, and that right there would seal the deal. Andrews comes away with a 35-28 win over Latta handing the Vikings their second loss of the season and their first in region play. The Yellow Jackets back in business. They are now 4-2. and two. More importantly than that, they are 1-1. One and one. Both teams, however, remain a game back of Carver's Bay, who is leading that region right now. We'll get to their highlights a little bit later on. Latta goes into a bye, licking their wounds, so to speak, as they will look to get back on track in a few weeks. As for Andrews, they remain home as they will entertain the auctioneers from Mullins. That will take place next Friday night. And of course, our own Mark Haggard was in Andrews tonight and uh, joins us now with the Yellow Jackets, who were very festive and a big win tonight to keep their season intact for a region championship. Wow, the Andrews Yellow Jackets have ended a two-game losing streak, and they are back in the region hunt. The Andrews Yellow Jackets in the end zone tonight. Guys, let me hear you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. We will get back to the football players in a moment, but first the cheerleaders. Ladies, you have a cheer for us. Go. Five, It. Can you dance, Coach Durham? Absolutely not. I think, I think it's time to sing hey, black and yellow. Hey, ask my wife, not a lick. <laughs> Scott Durham joins us. What a gutsy performance by your guys. I know you had some doubts there. Things didn't always go your way. And I know Jeremiah Shaw don't know his left from his right, but 
Hey, he made a, hey, wait, wait. He made a big play. And uh, Nolan and, of course, uh, your Odell Beckham version of Andrews, uh, Mr. Murphy did great. Uh, your assessment of this game. A lot of resiliency. Guys fought hard, um, never quit. We told them for the game, our, our, you know, just no matter what happens, win the next play. You know, whatever, put it out of your mind, win the next play, and then win the next one, and win the next one. You win enough next plays, you win the game. And we just we made one more play than they did, and that's, that's what it really came down to. Just a lot of, lot of great effort, a lot of fight. Can I see you smile a little bit? Because you were a, you were a little bit... You were a little bit angry with those zebras tonight, and oh, things boy. did turn out. Yeah, yeah, I, I get a little upset sometimes, but uh, <laughs> very happy with the win. Uh, always happy with the win, and uh, you know, love it. Love these guys. Love this team. Great chemistry. Uh, as I told them earlier, we got the best chemistry any team we've had here, and uh, you know, we just got to look, get a little closer, put it all together, and, and we still got a chance to be a pretty good team. Savon Morris was a big factor there at the end, making that big sack. Big it looked like you were about ready to give it away off that onside kick, but uh, this defense really came to play. They did. They played hard. Savon played every snap of the ball game. All right, kid plays his guts out, and uh, you know he's all you can ask for. He comes out, plays hard, great leader, and made a huge sack there uh, toward the end, and, and really you know kind of put him out of range of the Hail Mary. Well, I usually ask the coach who the game ball goes to, but I'm going to take over on this one. R.J. Nolan, HTC. Now, this was different. I have never had a player come up to me. Now, coach might get mad at you. What do I need to do to, to get that game ball? <laughs> he did. Oh, he, he told oh me, yeah. Told me all week and I said, won. make another play. Make one more play. You scored that early touchdown first, that big long run, and then you scored the touchdown. Then you scored the clincher. Yeah. First, first I want to shout out to my mom, and then I want to shout out to everybody on the D-line, because I, I, the offensive line, because I can't do it without them. And I want to give this ball to my boy, Tyler. Middleton. Okay. Tyler, why is he giving it to you? I know. That's my brother. <laughs> that's your buddy. All right. All right. RJ, great win. And Andrews, fantastic win tonight. What's next? Next is Mullins here, homecoming. Going to be a, you know, another great challenge. Mm -hmm. Hey, big, big, big thank you to our student section tonight. They showed up. They were loud. They did a great job. Oh, it, and, was, uh, it was Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Beach I heard it. It was Beach Night at Andrews. They showed, I guess so. Beach Night. They showed up. They were loud. They did a great job. All their fans, everybody. It was, it was a great night. We just, you know, that's one more. We got to get ready for Mullins next week. Congratulations, Coach. The Andrews Yellow Jackets in the end zone, guys. No. One more time. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. One, two, yellow. Three, four, jackets. One, two, yellow. three, four. Thank you very much. All right, congratulations to Andrews and congratulations to that young lady in the beach gear that got on TV twice tonight. All right, good job.